Bubba, what's going on guys? This is Ross Fowler, oh yeah, man, time to go. Look at this guy, he's got a mullet on his head, yeah, look at him. Oh wait, I'm still pink, probably should change my outfit for this session, yeah, man, let's go. What's going on, guys? This is Bosses up here. Welcome back for more Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Damn it, I always do that, don't I? Welcome back for more Pokemon Green in the last episode. We caught our good buddy uh, Super Jump, the Voltorb. And we also got uh, Bab Glee, the cut move. And we went through S5 HP Cave. In this episode, we have other things to do. Hmm, what color haven't I picked yet? Alright, comment section, tell me what color I should pick. You have selected the, the really dark blue. Let's go with that. Sure. Huh. Oh wow, that is a really dark blue. Huh, that'll be perfect for the cave that we're going into where we won't be able to see shit. Ew, I don't like this dark blue. This dark blue is like... It's like navy blue. But even, like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I'll go for that. How about, uh... I want to make a green liquid with the background. Unless I make it really, like a really disgusting green. Hmm. Oh yeah, Harry Potter marathon's on, by the way. Let's make it a shitty brown. Yeah, I don't think I've done shit brown yet. Oh yeah, there we go. This could be a perfect appeal. And we're back to not being able to understand people. Whew. Man, coming from, you know, Fire Emblem 6, coming to fight the Nilly G's, after just fighting a bunch of Weavers and things, I could actually understand their names. Man, I think this shit gets worse and worse every time. Alright, so let's see. That's Thunderbolt. That's Thunder Wave. That's, uh... Uh, it's a uh, sonic boom, and that's self-destruct. <laughs> Alright, let's go for Thunderbolt. Oh, Jesus Cr Oh, oh no, oh. What the fuck? Hold, hold up. It doesn't always do that, does it? Oh. My. <laughs> they had to have changed that. Tell me, tell me they changed that in the English version. There is... No way! Thunderbolts <laughs> like that! Uh. <laughs> Se seizure warning! Seizure warning right now! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no, I accidentally used tackle, fuck. Oh my god, seizure warning right now. I am so sorry. <laughs> there's, there's no way! There is absolutely no way that's in the original American edition. They had to have changed that. Jesus Christ, that looks miserable. It probably won't turn up as bad on recording, but in case it doesn't, or for whatever reason, the screen spazzes the fuck out and just flashes. It's... Oh no. Oh, my eyes. My eyes hurt and I did it twice. Oh no. I can't even use Thunderbolt anymore. <laughs> and it's sending out a growl. Come on, that's perfect Thunderbolt fuel. Oh no, not again. Oh god. Oh, I can't even look at that with a straight face. Oh, I'm so sorry, people. I am so sorry. Just look away whenever I use it. Oh no, I got sight teed. And I also got seizure warnings. Oh my god. It's so bad. It's so bad. Super jump. Why? This is going to be his main move. This is his mainstead. This is the move he's going to be using for the entirety of the game. Oh my lord, that is miserable. I got nothing to say to that. That's just... Holy shit. Thank god we got the upgraded version. We didn't get this version. Oh my god. No one ever talks about that. No one ever talks about the Thunderbolt seizure warnings. No, they just talk about the friggin' Lavender Town warnings of, like, killing you with its odd high-frequency noises and shit. Which was great in itself, but seriously, come on. This this is worse, I think, than the stupid noise warnings. Honestly, I hated the music so much from Lavender Town that I usually never even spent enough to get into the mainstay of the music. Like, when it goes to the ding 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 whatever. And Beedrill, you look like you have a heart on right now. I'm sorry, man. Oh, God. No, no more. No more. Que cosa, no more. And I actually paralyzed him. And, of course, I'm getting hurt by my burn. And here comes Fury Attack. 
Yeah, it's too bad Beedrill kind of sucks, so that's fine. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Oh yeah, Super Jump is turning out to be a great Pokemon with that Thunderbolt right now. He has basically become like one of my best Pokemon already, just from having Thunderbolt. And here's the Meta Trader I was talking about in the last episode, where I mentioned uh, fighting the Beedrill Trainer when I was like watching my house get built. I remember fighting this guy. I'm not sure why I have that memory, but it's just something I remember. You know, you always remember stuff like weird stuff like that. That's just how it works. Oh no! Just stop! <laughs> just stop! Stop right now! Cease and desist! Oh my lord. Oh, by the way, in the last episode, I believe I also did not know what TM08 was. Well, I actually know what it is now. I'm not sure how exactly I forgot. TM08 is, uh... That is Body Slam. I'm not sure how the hell I forgot that. That was a great TM, and I have to teach that to someone. Oh, damn it! Well, it looks like Super Jump's the only one that can learn Flash. Ew. I don't want to teach that to him. Oh, I'll, go, I'll go pick up an HM Slave from the Pokemon Center up here. Also pick up Body Slam. Not sure I'm going to teach it to. The other two Pokemon I'm going to be catching along this journey, neither of them can learn... Actually, you know what? No, I think one of them can learn Body Slam. I'm not sure the other can, though, and I don't even want to teach it to either of them. It would be nice for the one, but I don't think it's necessary. Uh, so that just puts up the question, who does get Body Slam? And I really don't know who the hell gets Body Slam. Alright, who needs an HP up? Uh, you do, so you can get 60. Did that actually give you 60? Oh, it gave you 61. Dope. Alright. Hmm. See, the question really is, who do I give it to? Oh man, poor Windigo. Uh, it's too bad Ghost is a physical type, otherwise he'd be doing really great right now. Stumpy, on the other hand, uh, his attack is alright, but honestly, I'd probably go for Windigo more with Body Slam. And then there's Ratman. Ratman would be an awesome candidate for Body Slam, but he already learns plenty of good normal moves anyway. So in reality, I think this is one of the first times where I don't really have a necessary use for Body Slam, to be perfectly honest. What the hell? Looks like every time I move, the girl jiggles back and forth a little bit. Am I the only one noticing that? Eh, 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 I don't know. Maybe I'm going insane. Maybe Thunderbolt isn't even spazzing out. I don't know. I really hope it is, because that would be hilarious if that's the case. It's so bad. Oh, Thunderbolt seizure warnings for the win. That is a product of Fappy right there. Fappy better not have any electric type Pokemon. I don't think he does, but if he gets one, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. Just saying, Fappy, don't you dare even attempt getting one. And there's Rat. Ah, uh, back to the good old Pokemon whose names I can actually understand, goddammit. Oh, I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry. I just have to kill these rats. I have to exterminate them with lightning. It's the only way. Uh, as 5 HP, that's Diglett. Hey, I actually remember one of these names. Um, well, there's actually not much I can do against S5 HP, but he can only use Dig on me. Oh yeah, he's actually fa- oh wait, no, I'm faster than him, right. Oh shit, no, he's actually using Dig, oh ooh. Well, uh, let's go for Ratman, I suppose. We'll do too much damage to Ratman. He's got okay defense. <laughs> Opposite Coop. And let's go for my own Opposite Coop. Uh, in fact, he's probably going to do that to me, so let's see what happens. Wait, I'm actually faster than him? Holy shit. Well, I guess I am higher level than him. Diglett's a really fast Pokemon, just so you know. In fact, to be perfectly honest, a lot of Pokemon from first gen were pretty fast. Kangaskhan, like weird ones too, like Kangaskhan, Magmar, uh, Tauros, Electabuzz. Like weird stuff like that was just really fast for some reason. And it was just like the general, uh, like, output for all the Pokemon was just to be fast. Level 26 Ratman. If he's going to be learning Super Fang sooner or later, I believe that comes at like level 30, 28, or maybe 35, I don't know, somewhere in that ballpark. That's a pretty big ballpark. Not as big as the ballpark we're looking for Flight 30, 370 though. That's a pretty much, that, that's a pretty bigger ballpark. Is that poor choice? I don't know. Anyway, let's just continue using Super, Super, Super Sonic Boom. Super Street Fighter Tournament in a distant. That was complete broken English. I said tournament didn't list. And I was actually able to hit another Sonic Boom. Probably not going to be keeping Sonic Boom for very much longer on Super Jump. It's just a move to have him use until he gets a lot better of a move. Because Super, like, 
Sonic Boom is only useful for like the first third of your journey. Afterwards, it just starts to not be able to do much else. And I don't believe I fought this guy down here, did I? No, I did. I had to have fought that guy. This guy I didn't fight. I know that for a fact. Zeus, Zeus, something, something. Alright. Okay. It is nice to have Sonic Boom simply for the fact that it works well against rock types, at least well enough. Oh shit, I think he was just trying to use Rock Throw. I'm not sure though. Yeah, he definitely knows Rock Throw by this point. Go back to Stumpy. Um, no matter what he's trying though, it is constantly missing, so apparently it's not something very dangerous. I do remember Rock Throw having a generally pretty low hit chance. In fact, most rock type moves had a low hit chance. There weren't many rock type moves in the first gen, were there? Let's see, there was Rock Throw, Rock Slide, uh, isn't that like it? <laughs> I'm probably forgetting a couple, but seriously, there were not that many. Uh, no, I don't really think so, man. That kind of blows. Although, to be honest, both moves were very good, so you really didn't have to worry about getting any extra moves. At least Rock Slide was. Rock Slide was a very powerful move in the first gen. And it still is. It's not a terrible move by any means. It has its uses. I mean, it's not an excellent move by any means, but... It's powerful. It's got its uses. In, uh, regular game. It can flinch. Shit like that. However, as the gens have progressed, I don't really think it's that much use anymore. Because there's better moves, like Rock Gem for special types moves like Rock Head, or whatever the hell it's called, which is basically just double edge but with rock type slapped onto it. Seizure warnings! Oh no, that's even worse because you can't even hear the Thunderbolt sound effects. It's just like randomly Thunderbolting, and that was a critical. God damn, Super Jump, you are powerful. Alright, good job, man. Well, I believe that's it. Alright, let's just head on over here and uh, go in the Pokemon Center and we'll be all ready for the cave. Once we switch around all our items and get Body Slam out, because I'm probably just going to end up teaching it to somebody. In fact, I dare say it's probably the most useful for Bulbasaur. Alright, let's see. Yep, there's Team 08. Yeah, it's probably definitely the most useful for him. And, yeah, I think that's good. Alright. Now we just withdraw our Pokemon, but first we have to deposit someone. Probably Queenie. Sorry, Queenie, you were useful for a bit. Uh, let's see, we got Rapezy. Ra he can definitely learn it. I want to see if I can get someone who can learn both Flash and Cut. Someone like Paris, that would be awesome, but unfortunately I don't think I have anyone like that. Damn, look at those stats, by the way. Just 9, 9, 21, 21. Um, what about you? Farfetch. Farfetch can't learn s Flash. Nope, looks like my only thing is to go for rapes the girls and go for uh, the other guy. Yep, use flash. There you go. Now, what the hell is the move called again? It has a heart in its name, so obviously it's pretty awkward. Alright, let's get rid of flash because we no longer need that shit. Uh, yep. Now, let's teach somebody body slam. Who the hell's going to learn it? Yeah, all these people can learn it. Super Jump can't. I don't really would teach to him anyway. Windigo already has Mega Punch. Ratman is already has Mega Fang, or Hyper Fang. Yeah, I think Stumpy's the only one. Oh well, sounds good to me. Yep. Man, what a weird move set for a Bulbasaur. He has rest and body stamps, which is weird. Eh, whatever. So we can't go fight this bitch now. Alright, let's have Super Jump do it. She probably has Grass-type Pokemon. Oh wait, no, no, no. I think she actually has Clefairy and, like, Meowths. Something like that. Maybe Jigglypuff, too. I don't know. Something cute, adorable, and stupid. Oh, yeah, there you go. Pikachu. Man, I never noticed. They had a lot of Pikachus in the original game, didn't they? Huh. Almost tempted, almost tempted to go for self-destruct. That would be really counterproductive, though. 
God damn it. Well, thank God the Pokemon Center's right over there. Fuck it. I'm just gonna go for now. T shocking me. T painting me. Go for Thunders. Seizure Bolt. That's what we'll call the move. We'll call it Seizure Bolt. <laughs> it's so bad. I'm so sorry about Seizure Bolt, guys, but. Seizure Warning. There's Clefairy. And she's double slapping. Or E. C. Poet. Bell Pian. Alright. And of course, I was not able to move because of probably being electrocuted or paralyzed, whatever the hell you want to call it. Ow. You know what? I'm going to change the channel because I'm not really even paying attention to Harry Potter. And it's actually kind of weird when I can't pay attention to Harry Potter, to be perfectly honest. Well, this is the Half Blood Prince. This is the one where the weird love relationship comes in between Harry and Ron's sister. Which I never really understood. It's just kind of weird out there. I thought I was going to go with that blonde haired chick. Well, actually, probably not. But that would have been a cooler plot point. Like, what, what the hell was her name again? Uh, friggin... She was the weird one that always got her shit stolen because people were assholes. I don't remember what the hell her name was. It wasn't Myrtle, because Myrtle was the bitch that was always in the toilet. Um... She don't know. You know, I can see perfectly well here. Uh, I don't even need Flash. Oh, look at that. I'm like a dark shadow amongst a shitload of green. Eh, -heh. I guess you could consider that cheating, if you want to consider that cheating. Ew. That made the sound run off. That was disgusting sounding. I might go through the cave like this, because it's pretty funny if I went through the cave like this. I know exactly how to get through the cave, too, like, looking at all this shit. That'd be funny. Oh, no, not Cubone. Ew. Oh, stop showing me Cubone. No. That's so depressing, guys. Look. It's like the fucker's bleeding. Oh, no, it has Blown Club. I forgot it had Bone Club. Ow. Yeah, we better switch to someone else. Oh, my God. That's so fucking depressing. Look at the thing. Look at him. Oh. I can't look at Cubone. And this bastard has another one, you sick fuck. And there's Super Jump to level 25. Once again, like I said, Voltorb does not have a very expensive moveset, so he's not going to be learning much. Oh wait, he didn't have another one. He has Slowpoke. Well, thank you. That looks a lot derpier and stupid. So I'll take that any day. Ow, that's going to hurt. Yep, that was annoying. Man, I already got to use a healing item. I probably should have stocked up on healing items before I went into this cave. Because this is one long cave to go through. That was a lot of money. All right, let's see what Flash does. Let's see what it makes it look like. Oh, well, just like that. Fine by me. All right, might as well use up these potions. Wait, how many young items do I have? All right, so I use the potion. Do 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 do. Only got two super potions left. Damn. Hey, look at that shit. He's got another 1850. Alright, which one of you guys is going to take forever to level up? Because I'm thinking about using those rare candies I've been hoarding. Does that say 13? 13! Alright. How about you, Wendigo? Now, Wendigo's still good. I think I'm going to give him to Super Jump. That'd probably be the best idea. I want to get him readied up so he can level up too, because he's going to be the next person to level up, probably. And look at that, level 27. Still not bad stats either. His block isn't terrible. His typing is really what sets him apart, though. Oh, wait, shit, what the fuck? His block is higher than his type. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Huh? Maybe it would have been better to give Windigo Thunderbolt. He would have been destroying shit with Thunderbolt. But, you know, Super Jump does need something. He really does need some sort of electric move in order to become somewhat useful. Oh, you know what? Skip the shit. Skip the ship. 27. Nice job, Stumpy. You're going to be gaining Razor Leaf in two turns of uh, level up. Two turns of a level up. I'll be dead. Two shakes of a lamb's tail. Now there's a game I don't need to let's play. <laughs> oh, man. Wallace and Gromit and Project Zoo. That is kind of a fun game. It's really annoying, though. It's very obnoxious, that game. Not the dialogue. The dialogue can be kind of funny. I mean, it's just hard. But at the same time, it's like unfairly hard is the way, best way I can describe it. Do 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 get rocked. Fuck you, Geocock. Do 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 do. Man, I'm hyper again. This is great.
great. Pokemon just brings that sort of magic out of me. Yep, and what the fuck? Alright, well, there seems to be an exorcism going on right now in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. A girl in a red trench coat is apparently flying in the sky and calling to the Antichrist. At least that's what it looked like. 